there is no food falling today is one of the among the senior citizen bloggers. Yeah. So actually, Lam Chansi is uh, my mentor. I have to start something right. He was inspired by Chansi's blog on topics that slowly I find that, you know, as I get older, I'm just like that. Yeah, because, you know, as, as we age, uh, we are gathering a lot of memories, a lot of experiences that young people, let's say, okay, in 10, 20 years, do not be as many. I'm 65 now, so if you want to ask me, how did I start to be able to remember anything? To be frank, every one of us, of age 1, age 5, it will be either, uh, either our parents, our friends, our relatives, uh, who will tell us, hey, the time when you go to age 1, uh, when you start doing flooring, uh, you will know that they have to tell us. Correct? Uh? Yeah. So, yeah, that, just to let you know that this book is uh, actually uh, collected over, I think it used to be about 8 years, uh, about the memories. Lan Chan Si has uh, published the book now. So the book title is the same as this book. Good morning yesterday. Okay? So, uh, I'm pleased that uh, I was a guest blogger with about three titles in there to share with you. Uh, just for information, now that book, during the, this uh, 50 plus expo, uh, it will be at uh, booth C27. And now, uh, Tan Chan Si will be uh, giving the talk tomorrow at uh, Forum A at 5 tomorrow. Okay? Thank you. Ah, use the uh, name. Uh, I have a nickname called Timbaktu. Timbaktu. Timbaktu is T I M B U K E U. Now that Timbaktu is somewhere north in uh, Africa or something like that. Yeah. So that I use the name because my real name, my last name is T H I M. So you will see the difference. T I M Baku or T H I M Baku. Okay, so uh, in case you've not taken note, please uh, see the blog at www.blogtoexpress.blogspot.com. Okay. Now you will see at this corner there, uh, yeah, I won't be described so much, but that's just to show you that. Uh, actually, how I started is when I uh, started to talk about the uh, Big Four Street Fire. Now, the fire is on the 25th of May 1961, when I was uh, 13 years old. So it happened that I was the one who was there to see the fire and what had happened. So, uh, if many people ask me today, when you have the fire, what actually happened to you? Are you very frightened of what was the fire? How many of you know uh, about the Pehuzi fire man? No? Just a show that I know many, yeah? Just, just came and right, yeah. Okay, so anyway, now, the biggest fire in Singapore was on the 25th of May, 1961, at Bukit Bosu. And if you are you know, if you know the place that is near the Maru, the Maru, the fire started in Indian Road. He then moved on to Rio Day, and where I actually stayed at the time of the fire. And then, after that, it was spread to Emerald Road. Okay, so that I would uh, discuss too much of this. Uh, I found my dog, and the first time it was, uh, you know, uh, experience is because of a blog that I submitted from the National Library. The National Library at that time they performed as I remember and now it's actually the Singapore Memory 
bottom. Uh, so that's this project, Singapore Memory Project, started in the year 2011. And uh, it was noted by Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong, uh, who had a mention of the Kehosui fire. Another one is a friend about the uh, this uh, medical town. Uh, okay, so next to say is our document, my personal memories, as a reminder of what Singapore was like in the past. Okay, I'm sure people will say, hey, I already know about all this history of Singapore, our uh, school textbooks and so on. Yeah, but the thing is that the textbooks that we uh, read about are basically about the banks, about the figures, how it was the island that time, how many hundred years ago, you see. But the thing that I feel that uh, we all should have is for as long as we have uh, grown up in Singapore. And every one of you will be a very different story, you see. So that's why last year, uh, during the National Day uh, celebration, theme was many stories, one Singapore. See? So I, I mean, I mean, I have some friends who already, you know, stayed in Bukit Ho Chi when I was young. But the memories that we have, the experience we have gone through, very different. See? So there is, cannot say, and uh, there are no two persons with the same story. Even in the same house, they may be twins, they may be brothers. But because they you know, move around and having different uh, activities, uh, different friends and thoughts, yes, so it will be very different. This used to say, I cannot tell yourself, oh, I actually have to write for my mind. No, please start from after five years old. I can remember about before five so actually I will meet my mother ten years. Unfortunately, uh, she's already passed on. Uh, my sisters will tell something. But the thing is, what we are trying to do is to help revive our memories that is, you know, in a way, a kind of uh, memory exercise. Really exercise. I, I certainly you know with uh, story big story is that one thing about block is that once it's written there, then, you know, uh, yeah, already so many body are and one of them is because my daughter uh, went to UK for 30 years. And when I started working and she read about it and says, oh dad, how come last time you young uh, never tell me about the UK OC fire or stories? Uh, so that was, I think, uh, just a good thing. And I would like to encourage everyone to start trying to do this, you know, to revive your memories, but uh, to make it help you. Okay. So, one more thing about this uh, path that we say uh, is uh, basically the blocks that I write is to have something that is you know, this is to ourselves. Uh, you see, because, let's say, okay, the blogging will be started during the time of my parents. They will not want to block. Because the memories that they had will be during the Japanese occupation. And I, I found that uh, very few times, whenever I speak to my mother, then she will say, oh, those things are the past memory. You know, in other words, they become very emotional, very sad. In the form of that one. Oh, so, uh, the, uh, 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 the atrocities of the Japanese occupation, the, the war. Day. There's nothing, you know, that the Indian tribe to buy to make them happy. Fire. Okay. So, because now, for 50 years now, in Singapore, uh, then, so, hopefully, it's remain to be a peaceful country. And, uh, so as uh, different generations who are, they are accumulating, you know, and divide things when your children to be happy about it. Yeah. So uh, another way that I have these blocks you will find 
is passed on to my children uh, where you know they, they have not gone through uh, maybe the little time as compared to the uh, grandparents during the Japanese occupation days. Yeah? Those uh, times become better for them in terms of uh, education, in terms of the environment that they have. Uh, yeah, they need to have uh, a country that is uh, stability and you don't have any open sense uh, in a war torn country where people are suffering, even young children also don't have childhood you know, to help them. You see, our memories are in a plain, uh, something like uh, you know, storage bank, memory storage. This to say the more children, the younger the children are, and you let them be happy. Here is the only estate, maybe for the babies, people to, you know, uh, feeding, and after that they will be their victim before going to school. Now that's only the stage huh, where, you know, they get to for them. So it's like, uh, uh, I mean, assuming that uh, the memory is like fine. So when the children were still young, it saved a lot of money in the bank for them, whatever. Now later on, yeah. So uh, this is not a new slide uh, to say that yeah, these children uh, are the uh, they were uh, this uh, you know, Tun Aja never teaching. You see, going to school for people like that. You see, uh, so this. I don't know whether this, I don't know where it got it from, but uh, I, I'm using this because it is to share with you. Yeah, yeah sometimes when children may have this kind of inspiration, uh, you know, the young and the old. Okay, I must want to emphasize, I'm not talking about the old versus the young, or the young versus the old. Because the young will eventually become, but the old cannot become younger. Yeah. So, so uh, let's say, uh, let's, let, let's uh, see if we be some, uh, without getting angry, uh, just to share that these children, at one stage, uh, uh, they should be about uh, six or seven years ago. Okay? The, the opinion of, of uh, old people and uh, look like them uh, and say what they feel. So they say, I will talk to old people. Why? Next. Uh, so they say, don't think that's it. Because they are very nerdy and old fashioned. Huh? Uh, that's, that's what they see. Huh? I don't know, I think they, they won't have great fathers. <laughs> okay, anyway. So next one. It doesn't matter what press. You won't be able to access the internet or downloading anything. Yes, this boy, huh? I think you know, very smart. Huh? You know how to use computer. How to use the app? How to download? Uh, you know, maybe certain files and so on. Uh, they, 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 they put under the impression uh, that uh, you know, old people are all nerds. Okay, may I say one thing? Uh, okay, the, the older generation. Uh, okay, say you know. Uh, Present one where you see already 50 years, 60 years already maybe uh, retired. Yeah? And then in the era of my parents, yeah? now, now they use a new term of pioneer generation. Yeah? Will sound uh, as old or whatever, but we are the pioneers. So what, what about my, my grandfather's time? It's another pioneer generation, right? Like, although now we don't know the term. Now that's, that, that's happening. You see, during that time, you have to have a background, a social economy, art in Singapore. Because that time, after the war, and then, uh, yeah, I was being brought because uh, I, I heard my parents say, oh, you know, after the war, uh, like, you know, children getting less and less. Quickly get them to have another generation to spread on. So, so it was there that during that time, uh, we have to understand the circumstances. They are not as educated. They have not as um, 
how I say, um, I felt earning jobs in food. And my father was from China, so I uh, also don't speak English. So there are a lot of uh, advantage, right? Now, present generation is because they have already gone to school, they have better opportunity. You know? Either they go overseas to get their education and qualification, uh, or they will go on to better jobs. So that is why all that generation, or pioneer generation, have maybe now arrived at a stage where they have retired. retired. So, uh, but may I ask, if I get a 65 years old um, present generation compared to a 65 year old my grandfather's time, and they took photos together. Can you tell the difference? I tell the difference. So that is why uh, this young boy was talking about this uh, to the last time. Uh, yeah, they, they would know because everybody says, I am internet saying uh, for people that do work. Right? So, okay, I find that this why I will next on lead to the big offer. So, Okay, say, let me ask you, uh, let, let the boy try to tell. Let me ask you, if you think an old computer and the connection is gone, that means the, 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 this guy is comparing uh, old people like old computer. Uh, they once become old, become obsolete, become useless. That's nonsense. Alright. Uh, you know, old people, last time they just go back there. Never teach it. In the compound, if somebody uh, go and uh, approach the elders, you call them very nicely, uncle. Otherwise, you get slapped. So now, this uh, parents don't score uh, the children. Okay? Okay, so basically, what I'm uh, telling you is uh, the generation gap. This gap comes closer, why? Because, as I say, the present generation to have this uh, intergenerational bonding. But what the daughter know about using the computer, hey, grandpa also know. Okay, maybe they can go uh, to a site where they can play, uh, you know, books and tell stories through the internet. So it's already a bonding. Yeah, elders are learning IT and internet technology with the young. Okay. Um, as I pause here, I would like to say that uh, over six years, okay, there's this organization uh, in Singapore only, uh, where they actually train about uh, 83,000, uh, uh, including young or old, uh, mostly of them uh, in, the, in the elderly who have not used computer. Uh, and how many of you have already gone to this computer $5 a month uh, in this uh, library and so on? Yeah, that, that was the under, call it the, uh, the Silver Infocom Initiative, where they have a plan for six years. And everyone has a chance to be trained. Trained to be school, or maybe uh, in your workplace and so on. Uh, so, you know, okay, everyone, now I'm sure all of you will have this internet. Okay, next one. The young to guide their elders is patience. Right? Okay? So, I've seen this, there's some uh, groups that they get young people who, you know, hold their hands, they call it hold their hands. To use uh, internet. Sharing internet and information technology to learn and enjoy together. Now, this you know that uh, presently, if you are a member of the National Library, you can go to any branch library where every day you are allowed to have access to internet for one hour free. Okay? So even uh, Minister of Defense, Doctor Ng watching the students on the use of the internet website. Okay. 
Yeah. So, you know, these children will be like, say, uh, well, how about I say, maybe I, I, my children, they be like the two kids, uh, talking about uh, what they know about me. Because they did not bully me. I know better than them. I started, even though uh, it's not using uh, Windows Store. I was using Force. Uh, a hard way to get through. And so that, that's it for that. Now you can teach me. But now you learn it. This, you are better than me. I have to learn things that I do not know. Okay? So next one. Yeah, so this, this one in group here uh, was the early days when they have uh, computer lessons on an IBM O model. I think that time don't even have color. Yeah? So it's either a green or orange. Yeah, very picked up of uh, computer at that time. First, first model of uh, IBM PC. Yeah? yeah, so as I say that, uh, you know, this, this learning process, whether young and old is a way of sharing. Yeah? So this is not when uh, I had the chance to be with the uh, Singapore Memory Project under the National Library. Now they go to school uh, to conduct. And this one you see in the picture is the Ahmad Ibrahim uh, Primary School. I was there to uh, illustrate them and then you see uh, what is the date okay, this one. So you may say that I tell them a uh, grandfather's story. But what they had to do is a project uh, to say that uh, you know they, how to interview uh, the schools uh, who left the school 40 years ago. So yeah, uh, next one. So you see these are the top of uh, topics that I you know I show with them. Yeah, so this was known as the Singapore Memory Training Workshop. Very interesting, yes. Because as I, you know, uh, train them, I also learn from them actually how much do they know. Many things I tell them, I later on you see some of the pictures will be things like that. I show them a picture of a truck with uh, 36 doors. They say they don't know. Why do you talk with so many doors? <laughs> Those who are smart, they know what I'm talking about. Okay, they don't have to be like that. Okay. Yeah, so this one is a uh, little bit about what I have to say because this was in 2005, yeah, uh, in the Straits Times and I was interviewed at that time I was only 57 years old and uh, I would like to highlight that one it says, it's okay to say I don't know and there is nothing to be shy about. You think speak, even at our age we can learn new things. Yeah. So it doesn't mean that, you know, I mean it depends on what you do. I mean, of course, uh, let's say you approach uh, your know, friend or what, you know, so they're not This thing doesn't mean that, uh, you know, uh, doing something that uh, doesn't, you know, uh, meaningful. Uh, we have to be these things, I, I give this example. The first time I went into the computer shop and see all the computer. Well, all this young boy, how can I do that? Must I say, hey, I'm not a big I'm not a big computer. I don't care, I could tell him. A big doesn't know. You teach me, show me. I have bought a computer already. You see? So that was actually what happened. Okay, so after that, uh, they become the iPhone, I learned to teach people. So this is where I, I, I thought the time. So okay, the Paya Leba Govan, who we have conducted. Oh, we go through uh, some photos of those that are. Uh, you see, all this. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, never mind. Okay, next one. So these are some of the groups that you can see. Okay. Some groups that you Okay, I saw here. Because this is something I have to talk about technology. Okay? Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you, uh, have you seen this before? Anybody seen a door that is like that? No. Okay. This is technology. And this is the latest technology. Huh? Okay, first, let me ask you, the first time when you go to an office, go to a building, the shopping center, huh? 
very urgent but every time you need to go to find a place is a corner. Okay, but when you go into the corner, eh, you will notice that every side arm there's a new building, it's a new design. Some have shown one big man then that's from here. Another one a baby with skirt that's from here. Because they want to go into the right place. But, but next thing is, now it's become uh, a bit complicated, uh, I have to tell you. Uh. Okay, so, so I see this, the first time, first time I see a door like this. Quite, quite far away, you know. It's a door, turn left, so turn left, turn right, so turn left. I got turn right, top uh, right. Then later on, I notice, hey, something to buy to see here. Next, next. Okay, so then I realize, actually, this latest, uh, Technology. Uh, for opening the door is very cool. Now they have a picture. They can tell you that uh, uh, the door opens. Uh, so at least I can get into the toilet. See? Okay. Next. Okay. Next thing is the sliding door sensor. Now, this is a personal. I have to tell this. You know, that when my father was about 65 years old, I was about uh, 70. So the first time. Myself and my uh, sisters want to bring my father to a restaurant in a new building. And my father, you know, my father suddenly moved about. So when you see a new building, you don't know where is the restaurant. I try to walk very fast. Then as he walk and then see them, he stopped there. We, we were walking at the back, you know, coming to the Hey Dad, how, how come you want to stand there? It's a very funny lah. How come, you know, I see people want to go into the building. The door just open like that. I stand there, cannot open it. <laughs> you know why? Because they were standing away from the sensor. So that's why I stand there. How come so all these people just like that, they can go in? Then we say, ah, hey, don't worry, come here. So let them stand here to the uh, sensor, the door opens. See? So it's a bit something like the only one I told you about. How to wave uh, on the engine to open the door. Okay? That's a true story. Uh, but with that, uh, don't, don't worry, next time you will explore more of these sort of buildings. Uh, <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, next I have to move. Uh, before that, I have done. Okay, that one I will skip on the uh, video. Uh, because this one is about the Big Bang Winter. How many of you have uh, known the story of Big Bang Winter? Uh, where sleep for 20 years and then uh, you wake up, wow, see everything is different. The whole world has changed. So anyway, I will skip the Big Bang Winter which I need to go. Okay, next one I will go to, uh, yeah, as I say, this will be about Transport, huh? That little thing. So, uh, maybe some of you have not seen this. See the wind show. Uh, okay. You have to go. Next one, you know about Chinatown. Uh, in the old days, there is a uh, Thai shop. That, that one is a Thai shop, huh? Okay. Uh, okay, this old bus, you all know. Uh, the, yeah. During the time uh, when there is a single door, and you have to use. Bus conductors. Uh, okay. uh, this one maybe uh, I also have to see. Uh, and it's a whole lot of And uh, where was that? It was at the Singapore River. Okay. Uh, this is the whole boat team. So very different. Okay. Next. Uh, this one is the sea. You have those tram, uh, you know, electric trams. You have all those, uh, I think, horse guards or bull guards in the gym shop. So it's a very uh, significant photo to show all the different uh, ports of the uh, population. Uh, this one again is a uh, long time. I, I don't think we can see this. Uh, yes. uh, the all the good blocks are uh, all, all, all sold as a thing. <laughs> okay, next. Yeah, this is a place. Now, uh, you will be very familiar. Actually, at this corner is the former Adelphi Hotel. Adelphi Hotel. Next door to the St. Andrew Technical. So, how different the place is? 
Now it's the same norm, no? okay? So yeah, this will be very difficult to use. Now this one is common street, common street, because uh, you can you can see a building that uh, still standing there. Okay. That one is the central uh, fire station. Yeah, okay. Next. Uh, so this one is uh, somewhere in uh, Chinatown. Okay, the uh, this uh, board of transportation is using steam rickshaw. Uh, although I was born in 1948, I have not seen steam rickshaw. <laughs> I've seen rickshaw. Okay, next. Uh, this this is the normal part of the Chinatown. Okay. All of them, you know, because of the buildings, uh, uh, you know, the structure is getting uh, very the next one. Okay, so this is another part of the town where you can see that uh, you know everything is uh, really running on electric. Okay, next. Uh, this one is see you see all the children around this time. Yeah. A lot of young children they were you know uh, helping parents uh, to sell hawker food and all that. Because time was very poor at the time. Okay, next. See even the that girl will be selling uh, just some, some simple things. Next, yeah, these are the way they are dressed. Okay? Ah, uh, one of them, uh, my mother was also very old fashioned type like that. They have pumps. You know they have pumps at the back of the place. Because uh, they all have no fashion. <laughs> okay? Next, yeah, this is the way they are cycle. Yes. Okay, next. Okay, before that, so just now I was telling you, uh, yeah, you see, if, we, if humans, you know, could be just like a uh, little bit of a uh, sleep for 20 years, 30 years, after that, they wake up. But my parents, after they pass away, it's not it's forever sleeping, they never wake up. Again. So because, I mean, using this story of little bit of a it's show that if we have a chance, if humans, no, I have to check for I know. Sleep for I have to check. Then they wake up. What are the different things? Now, what happened in Singapore when it was still sex? Next. Okay, so you see, start just now earlier on, you see the bus. No bus. No, for even double decker. An aircon somehow. Wow. Children wake up, will not expect a change. See, your speaker was really, oh, ah, uh, and the one you see, your speaker really had this uh, double vector pass and call it really. But they cannot compare, you know, in the earlier days, the different generation. Next, uh, the NSMRT comes in. Okay, so another thing is, you know, because this topic is about technology, I would like to uh, mention that, or oh, as I say, uh, for this transport uh, technology, is the one that change. It affects everybody. Because if you don't have to go to school to say how to take MRT, 